produce. We're farming um, uh, several acres, well, over over six and a half thousand acres in uh, West Cornwall. Um, our, the main crop we're growing are brassicas, which um, range from cauliflower, calabrese, uh, spring greens, pointed cabbage, savoys, and, and so on. You, you seem to get a key pest every year. Um, sometimes it'll be diamondback moth. Other other years will be aphids. Um, since since we've been using the very mark, it is is reduced in the early stages of the crop, and um, by, by crop walking and, and uh, monitoring, um, we, we've um, we target towards the end of the growing season. Disease, we, we look at resistant varieties as much as we can. Um, weeds, we've actually um, made a big push this year to reduce herbicide use and we're using more mechanical methods of um, inter-row cultivations which is working very well for us um, and of course it's rotation and knowing the land is, is the other part of it. All the strip tiller is is a single leg with a foot on the bottom um, and there's a, there's a disc each side of it and it simply drags through the soil and bubbles up the, the soil in that strip which um, then breaks it down good enough to plant in. Um, there's no power drive, there's no, you know, there's no, so a, a tractor can be ticking over and pulling it. Um, a, a bit of speed, the faster you can go, the better the tilth. All you're doing is cultivating the one strip you need to put your plant in. Um, He's down at sort of uh, eight inches, nine inches. So there's, you know, the, the root of the plant will go straight down. And as it's going down, we found it goes out sideways in, in between the, the layers of the soil. It will find the layers of the soil and go sideways as well. So um, you are using all of the field, um, even though you think you're just using the one slot. What we're finding um, with the strip, strip tiller is better soil drainage. Um, more even crops um, because it, every plant has got the same chance um, and you know we, we're finding that we aren't getting um, harvesting rigs stuck on this sort of ground because it's more um, the ground is more um, consolidated and hold, holds up all the machinery so we're not causing compaction and ruts um, or so we think and um, yeah generally a lot happier with the, with the crop behind it. It's actually faster overall because we haven't had to plow the ground. There is a piece of saving, we haven't worked it out exactly, but we know it's cheaper. And in catchy weather, um, you know, if, it's, if you're working in showers, um, you haven't got to touch the ground until you need it. When you plow a field, you lose moisture. Yeah. And by not disturbing the soil and planting much more minimum tillage, we're retaining the soil moisture and the soil structure. And that gives us a more even crop. Two distinct seasons, you've got your winter cauliflower and a summer cauliflower. Summer's a lot more simple. We have three, two or three varieties which we plant weekly and then we harvest them sequentially. Then when we get to the winter crop, which is this, we have maybe, well, there's probably 30 main varieties and then we've got another 20 or 30 trials. And those are all planted roughly in July and then they've got a different length of day between when you plant them and you harvest them. So if you plant 50 varieties all on the same day and they're some are 80 day varieties and they go 82, some go up to 200 and something days. So it um, just gives you that continuity right through the winter. The idea is to get the most UK product we can on the UK shelves. We don't want to import and we've got the kind of pressures of Brexit mainly but also coronavirus. Um, exchange rate fluctuations, all sorts of reasons why we'd rather not import through the winter. So having a 12 month crop like cauliflower is great. And we're selecting plants for disease resistance. Now the varieties are becoming more resistant as we develop new, new varieties to use. All crops have a fungicide to keep the leaf clean, but we are working more and more towards uh, resistant varieties that are bred in by the seed companies. So we've got several varieties of cauliflower now We'll use perhaps 40 or 50 different varieties through the winter cauliflower season, but um, we have got a few main varieties we use, and we try to go for the ones which have got a good quality head, supermarket quality head when it comes to maturity, which gives
gives us a high yield. We're also looking at things like um, tolerance to leaf disease, and it's more of a tolerance than a resistance. But we've got some new varieties coming through which have definitely got more tolerance than others. So that means if the weather's not there for spraying, we miss a spray, we still don't get losses through leaf disease. This particular field was in um, uh, summer cauliflower. Um, so we, we harvested uh, cauliflower off this field in July. Um, and then first week of August, uh, when the crop was finished, it was um, lightly dissed over. We lightly dissed in the, the, the cover crop of uh, phacelia, linseed and clover. Um, we've been doing this for two or three years now. Um, and we've noticed a, a, a great improvement in the soil structure and the, the amount of wildlife uh, such as worms um, and all the stuff you can't see. Um, so the, 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 the soil health is definitely improving through, through this practice. First shovel full, you see more worms. So they're all, all busy, all being protected by the, by the cover crop above them. And, you know, some lovely crumbly pre-soil near it. This particular field, um, it'll be left here for most of the winter. Um, it'll maintain a little bit of green in the winter months in Cornwall because we're, we're milder. Um, and then in the spring, this will probably be planted in cauliflower again. Um, so the, the, we've, we've actually stopped ploughing land now. Um, this will be just dissed off um, lightly. And then we've got a a Vanderstack crosscut machine which will be run over it um, which will destroy it will break all the the dead material into short pieces of um, debris um, and then we run a strip tiller through it and start planting behind the strip tiller um, th there's a few issues um, if you've got too good a co cover crop planting the following crop can be an issue um, but we're, we're getting better at that um, we, we get to a certain stage um, and it all depends which time of the year you're targeting. We, we, we start planting in early March and we finish planting in October. So, you know, you, each each cover crop's got to be sort of um, tailored to, to suit what's what's being planted behind it. Um, so, um, you know, destroying the crop, the, the cover crop at the right time is key. We are seeing a, a, an impact on the, the following crop. Um, they're tending to get more, more even now. Um, more healthy, um, they're um, yeah, a lot, lot happier crops basically. I'm fairly sure the cover crops are bringing in um, beneficials, you know, if you stand and watch um, a flowering crop of phacelia long enough you'll see you'll see all sorts, um, hoverflies, ladybirds, um, plus, plus other things I've never seen before if I'm honest, but um, yes, um, I, I'm sure they're bringing in more insects. Um, it's certainly the, the bees love it when it starts flowering which it's got to be good isn't it? I think we we naturally want to work with the environment mm -hmm. um, because you know we're rotating these fields we're not sort of one crop in, in and gone we're, we're, going, we're coming back and year on year. We're, we're very dependent for our business is very dependent on healthy soil um, so if you don't look after your soil your, your business suffers basically. My role is to put the crop programs together which is building in a sales plan and a growing variety planting plan to try and equate the acreage to the predicted sales and by using the cover crops we've found we have much more even availability. saying we've changed lots of things over the last few years um, we're, we're, we're cover cropping we're um, which is bringing in be beneficials um, we're, we're, we're strip tilling ground which is improving the structure and um, bringing the worms back um, is we aren't getting it all right um, I, I don't think we ever will get everything perfect um, but um, it, you know if you're thinking about going down this route don't be afraid to try it um, and don't stick with, um, we've always done it like this, we're not going to change.